Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This time, the presidential brokies will be making a Starbucks tier list. Comment what video idea you want to see next. The rankings go from S tier to trash tier, with S tier being the highest and trash tier being the lowest. No shit! Quiet! Give that like and subscribe button a bump for me, and click the bell notification if you are subscribed, because not too many subscribers actually get notified of our videos. All right, people. Let's get this caffeine-fueled party started. We've got some serious tasting to do. Pour me a cup of joe with. Bump of the white stuff in the morning, and I am ready to raw dog the day, fellas. Starbucks is my plug, and up first on this list, the caramel frappuccino. But can it really compete with other Starbucks classics? I mean, caramel is great and all, but it's got to bring the flavor. I'm cautiously optimistic. Let's see if this frappuccino can live up to the hype. Well, folks, I hate to say it, but this caramel frappuccino just isn't doing it for me. It's too sweet, too icy, and definitely not worth the hype. Rating for the caramel frappuccino, a disappointing D tier up next, the white chocolate mocha. White chocolate mocha? That's like a decadent dessert in a cup. But can it really compete with classic mochas? I mean, white chocolate is great and all, but the whiteness makes it more bland than the full-on chocolate mocha flavor. Holy caffeine, Batman. This white chocolate mocha is like a warm hug on a cold day. Creamy, rich, and oh so satisfying. Rating for the white chocolate mocha moseys its way to A tier just short of being the supreme leader of Java Land. Now on to the Akai Strawberry Refresher. Akai Strawberry Refresher? That's a mouthful. But can it really compete with classic refreshers? I mean, Akai is great and all, but it's got to bring the flavor. Let's not judge a refresher by its name, folks. Let's see if this Akai Strawberry Refresher can deliver the fruity goodness we all know and love. Well, folks, color me impressed. This Akai Strawberry Refresher is like summer in a cup. Refreshing, fruity, and downright delicious. Such a delightful, icy liquid best enjoyed on the yachts to private islands, if you know what I mean. Shut it, Don. You'll literally spill the coffee beans on us. Cool it, dog. Okay, let's throw this Akai strawberry refresher thingy into B tier. Now on to, to the, the chai tea latte. But can it really compete with other Starbucks classics? I mean, chai is great and all, but it makes my nose tickle when I drink it. I always want to love chai, but the peppery cinnamon vibes don't make sense. Let's reserve judgment until we've had a taste. You never know, this chai tea latte might surprise us. Well, folks, I hate to say it, but this chai tea latte just isn't doing it for me. It's too spicy, too sweet, and definitely not worth the hype. Love this spicy, warm hug in a cup, but I get your take, Donnie. Rating for the chai tea latte, a C tier. Average in a tea that wants to pass off as spicy coffee. C town, baby. Now let's get back to the OG of Starbucks drinks. The cold brew. It's like a jolt of caffeine straight to the veins. I mean, cold brew is great and all, but it's got to bring the flavor. Shit just seems like an easily offended version of iced coffee, like you are misgendering it or something. What, where am I? What time is it? Where's my venti iced Macala Cacala sweet whippy cream liquid alpha juice? Damn it, Sleepy Joe. Wake the fuck up. You had one job to do. You're like this cold brew and boring and can't even do your job. This is too bitter, too strong, and not festive enough for me. All right, gang, let's throw this marked iced version of bean water into C tier. Up next, the flat white. Flat white? That's like a classic coffee house staple. I like to sip this when curling up to a good book. It makes me feel more refined, British, and smart when I drink this. But can it really compete with other Starbucks classics? I mean, flat whites are great and all, but this is a joke of a drink. Talk about inflation, half of the cup is filled with whipped R and only half the actual drink. A rip-off, I tell you. Holy caffeine, Batman! This flat white is warm, rich, and creamy like me! I like the idea of sipping this with a nice paperback novella and my Hugh Hefner terry cloth robe, but I'm not down with a full-price drink when half of it is just air. This is going straight to D tier. Now, onto the iced green tea lemonade. Drinking this makes my insides feel healthy because you know the antioxidants and all. Iced green tea lemonade, it tastes like iced grass juice. I'll drink the lemonade part because it makes my lips smack from the tartness, but hold the green tea. I agree, gang. People just drink this because they want to feel good about themselves, but make it bearable to drink by pumping all the lemony corn syrup in there. Mmm, corn syrup and lemon. Sounds like heaven in a cup. I don't mind the hint of grass. Easy B tier just for the antioxidants. Fire right after a jog. Cools me down like the summer rain. And next, the iced shaken oat milk pistachio latte. Iced shaken oat milk pistachio latte? Now we're talking. It's like a party in my mouth waiting to happen. Oh my god, I love this new seasonal flavor. Every time I drink it, I jam to Gangnam Style. Remember that pistachio commercial with PSY and those dancing pistachio? 
classic Nutty Dance vibe. I love that commercial dog. Me and Jill bust out our Gangnam style moves whenever that song came on. This Starbuck rendition of a classic nut flavor infused with coffee beans and faux milk and nemesis of the soy milk. This ice shaken oat milk pistachio latte is best shared when Gangnam styling with your beastie. Right, Obamna? I love all the nut varieties, but this one in drink form checks all the boxes for me. Def and A-tier contender. Agree, DT, a tier for the iced shaken oat milk pistachio. Now, what do we think about the pumpkin loaf? I am only mentioning this because the 49ers claimed it had magical nourishing powers that made them perform at a higher level. Maybe they decided to get a muffin on the day of the Super Bowl, though. Probably decided to just throw the game because that's what the script said, George, you dumbass. I can't believe I have to look at Mahomes' stupid face on commercials again for another year. Wait, I thought the 35ers won the Stanley Cup last June. Is that what we're talking about? The Stanley Cup is for hockey, Disgraceful. Joe. Disgraceful! All right, this is getting out of hand. I'm going to throw this into trash tier. This was a great debate amongst the three presidential brokies, and we thank you all for watching. Hit that bell notification so you can see when we drop new videos and consider joining the group membership so that you can vote on polls and what direction the channel will go in. Also, if you didn't know, we are real estate agents in New Jersey and New York states. That's why we're so broke. We work on 100% commission. But our contact info is in the description as well in case someone wants to work with some real deal closers. Another thing, we also have a full tutorial for people who want to make faceless AI videos. And the link to that course is in the description. The power is in the people. Have a great night.